Well, all eyes will be on Memphis this week as the World Golf Championships FedEx St. Jude Invitational will be teeing off. But fans won't be able to watch the tourney in person this year. Of course, that's because of the pandemic. Local 24 News reporter Jalen Sochak reports on the economic impact the tournament can still offer without the crowds. Last year's WGC FedEx St. Jude Invitational was an uncontested hit, bringing in an estimated 40 plus million dollars into the local economy. With no fans due to COVID-19, this year won't offer as much of an economic boost, but Memphis Tourism says there's still a silver lining here. You got some of the best golf in the world. Uh, in Memphis. Memphis Tourism Vice President of Sales, Sports and Services Malvin Gibson says as a globally televised sporting event, Memphis will be on display for the next four days. Throughout the coverage, shots of beloved Memphis spots will still be shown. We're talking about planting the seed to, to really show showcase Memphis. And so really it's going to give us that opportunity from the tourism perspective uh, that's going to allow for us to reach out even more and, and increase the tourism participation. For now, it'll be a whole lot quieter over at the Germantown Commissary, where normally this is a huge weekend for them and the surrounding businesses. On Wednesday and Thursday and Friday and Saturday night, it's packed in there because all the golfers will be in there eating. Manager Lori Pickard expects a significant drop off in business. Catering is also taking a hit. During the golf tournament, we will cater people's houses out there at the, at the golf tournament. You know, right around a south wind, you know, they have a, like a lot of business parties and stuff like that. We, we cater those. We, we don't have those this year. I mean, all the restaurants are taking a big hit this year. WGC debuted the pit last year during the tournament with Commissary as one of the featured restaurants. No fans means no pit this year. We're going to miss the people. We were going to miss all the people coming into our restaurant, too, because this was always a big week for our servers. Another huge blow for this is to St. Jude. This event normally brings in a lot of money for them for fundraising. Thankfully, though, some golfers are still pledging donations at each hole. Uh, they also were able to still hold their annual fundraising event on Wednesday with the PGA golfers, and that brought in more than $100,000. Reporting from TPC Southwind, Jalen Sochek, Local 24 News.